Hey everybody, Marco, KC2ZMA. So a lot of you have asked uh, an easier way or had problems updating the firmware for the TYT. Well, I got the user database working. As you can see, it gives, similar to DSTAR or Fusion, with call signs and everything else. Um, just listen to 3100 here and um, so it's got it up and going here on uh, the TYT. So if you look my at my last video um, where you went to, I told you to go to M1GEO and the firmware over here, I found a firmware that's extremely easy to download the firmware a website to download the firmware for the TYT now remember my TYTs depending what versions you have mine is 13.020 now remember these are experimental firmwares and you know there's, there's always a risk that something could happen um, I've had success I have three TYTs, and I have um, two of them with their, if you look at my last video of the MD380, uh, from here, that I downloaded uh, this one here. I found this website, you can actually see the, yeah, here's the address up here. So go to this website. I haven't read through the whole thing. I found this actually on Facebook, in one of my Facebook groups. So if you go down to loading MD380-390, now I don't have a 390, so I don't have no experience with a 390. I have just a regular 380. Um, I believe what 390 has GPS. Uh, so I go in here, and here's the tools to download. It's a zip file right here. Flash tool version 1.05. So today's date, well, I'm going to be uploading it. At, what's today's date? Uh, July 20th. I'm going to upload it on this day as soon as I'm finished with this video. So you can get it right away. Read through all this, though. Okay? Very simple. I, want, I just read through all this all, all the way down. Very, very simple to download the firmware and use a database all in one screen so if you look down here this is the zip file I unzipped it to a folder I just called a new folder just to have all the files in one so I already did it I'm not gonna really do it so I'm gonna just show you here's the see that little wrench thing right there it says uh, Titera flash tool okay I double clicked here and run it. Okay, so the screen is going to look exactly the same as what you saw the website. Here it is, right here. Here's the program. So, this is the whole program right here. This is very, very nifty. Uh, the person who did this, excellent, genius. One thing I don't like though, I don't like the firmware that much. This radio right here has the firmware that I downloaded from, from here. Okay. Looks exactly the same as the other one. I'm trying to get it. Okay. The screen blanks out. Um, I don't know if there's a feature in there where you can actually see how this one, like the old one, is like dimmed. Uh, it doesn't really drain the battery. See how it blanks out? I'm not sure. If you could fix that. Now the volume knob doesn't show volume. You can't wake it up unless you push a button. And when you go volume up or volume down, see there's no bar there. It shows as this one. See, it doesn't show that. It's strange. I've had a little bit of hiccups with this firmware too. I had it re uh, the reboot. Now, if you don't want to, if you download the firmware from my last video here, here 
You could, if you want to just download the database, you could do, just do the database and it actually works. So download GPS, okay? Download non-GPS, this is the firmware, okay? I don't know, I think download non-GPS, that actually is the 380, like this one here. GPS, I believe, is a 390. I'm not sure exactly. If you have a regular MD380, do this one. Okay? It's going to actually show, if you click on it, see over here? As the bar goes up, done download. Press, uh, press flash button, okay? Now, you have to make sure that you're in download firmware. This button, the PTT talk button, and the top button at the same time. Put, hold them down, turn it on. Then you have to see, you have to see that uh, blinking back and forth. Okay, obviously the cable, make sure you have the cable into the USB, and you have to have it like that, okay? Let me just shut that off. So firmware, you always have to do it that way. All the time, you have to do it that way, okay? When you push flash, <clears throat> it's just the bar is going to go up, a, I, guess a, I think, a few times, and it's going to say done. That's it. It's going to flash back and forth. You still have to reboot, shut it off, and turn it back on again. So that's the firmware. Um, so I did one radio, and I really don't like the firmware that much, personally, for myself here. So I kept... My original firmware from this website, my last video. Okay. Now, if you want just to use just do to use a database, you do not. I repeat, you do not have to put this in firmware update. I've actually made a mistake in doing that. It doesn't do anything. So you just leave it on, with the cable connected. Okay. Make sure your computer recognizes the USB and the ports and everything. Okay. Download, update. You're going to see that going on. Okay, and it's going to download, I guess, 65,000 847 users. And then you're going to push flash. Okay. Not flash from follow, just push flash. Once you download flash, and it's just going to say PC. Um, it's almost like a how a code plug goes into your radio. And it's going to say done and then you're finished okay if you just want to use a if you want to just do the user database click that click flash nothing's going to do anything because it's not i'm not i'm not connected to the to the uh, radio um it's going to say writing so it's going to go the bar is going to go up maybe like a few times and it's going to say done and that's it and it's going to say pc the radio is going to say pc um download or something forgot exactly what it says but it's very very easy to do though if you want to just do the user database this is so this is very nifty very nifty um it's from this call sign here i guess to made the uh, program very 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 cool um so give that a try let me know what you guys think for the firmware if you want to just do the firmware of the user database or if you want to keep this firmware from M1 GEO, you can keep that if you want. Uh, so let me know there, guys. So let me know how you make out. If you have any problems, I know some of you have commented of um, having issues. So hopefully this fixes a couple issues. So, but just just do read the whole thing though. Read this from top to bottom. And, um. Let me know how you all um, make out with it. <laughs> Summary threes, everybody. Give me a thumbs up if you uh, enjoy these videos. I'm maybe I'm making more. I'm just having time to uh, make some videos. Um, so I'll be making uh, quite a few, bit more videos as well there. Summary threes, everybody. Have a great day. I'll be uploading this today, actually, on the date that you saw.